Hello guys, so it's a nice Sunday morning. I'm a bit tired today. Um, obviously I had boat club dinner last night, which was so much fun. The food was honestly the best food I've ever had at any boat club dinner. I think it was just cause the menu was just right up my street, but yeah, like warm chocolate brownie for dessert. Yes, please. Then there was the after party held at the venue as well. The venue was like a cafe, but it was like a converted chapel or something. And then everyone headed off to Spoons. And as you probably gathered from what I said last night, I forgot my ID and so, just came back to college and that was fine you know I think it actually was a sign because I've got so so much work to do I'm literally swimming in quantum mechanics questions you have no idea um so yeah it's probably a good thing I didn't go out I don't think I ever told you guys how bumps went yesterday but we did get bumped literally the crew behind us rode very fast faster than us and they gave our boat a slight nudge behind and I thought uh oh that's a bump better concede we put up a good fight everyone did the absolute best and it was it was it has been a really good week of rowing so this morning oh, I mean I still have had a lion which really I shouldn't have had but hey um and now I'm up I've had a bowl of cereal I need to get going on some work I'm supposed to be meeting with my physics project group today to practice our presentation we're giving next week also my room is a pit um I'm not gonna show you because it's actually embarrassing. I definitely need to tidy my room today. So much to do, but it's like the last week of term. So we can all chillax. We can just, you know, make sure we get these last pieces of work done. Also, it's been announced that I'm in the top 10 Beanocks in Cambridge. Beanock is a big name on campus. And apparently I am number six. I'm the sixth most well-known student in Cambridge by all the students at the moment. Woohoo. What an achievement. A little bit scary to think that everyone knows who I am, but <laughs> it's cool. I'm me, here I am. I make an idiot of myself. I'm really weird and put it out on the internet. Yeah, I'm just myself, you know. I like to be myself, love it or hate it. It's just me. Hey everyone, so I had lunch at CAF in the end. I've just got myself an afternoon coffee as well to keep me going. Still got quite a bit of work to do. I'm heading over to Trinity College at four today to meet with my lab group to practice our presentation. So in a minute, I'm gonna switch to just preparing my part. Hello everyone. It's a bit cold, but I am now heading over to Trinity. I think it might be my first time actually going inside Trinity College ever. It's quite exciting. It's the big one. I'm expecting it to look quite grand. And welcome to Trinity College. It was pretty cool to walk through and my lab group had a very good run through of our presentation. Hello everyone. So we're all sitting in the gym this evening, eating dinner. I've been to CAF, but only to buy a muffin. And I'm making my own toasty, which is currently in the toasty maker. Here we have Ed and Nija. Will and Emma are cooking. Can you believe it? I mean, you could say what that I'm say? cooking too, because I'm making a toasty. It's quite, I mean, quite right, a lot. Right. Let's see what Will's made. Whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa! You never know, vlogged my food. Okay, so let's have a vote. I want people to comment down below whether they think Will's meal or Emma's meal looks more appetizing. Will's looks way more appetizing. So, <laughs> <laughs> Will's was the first one I showed you, the pasta, and then I just showed you Emma's stir fry as well. So yeah. Which do you think looks best? So I just wanted to add in the running my toasty. I think actually, in my personal opinion, it looks like the best cooking that's been done this evening. But I mean, you have your say in the comments, but yeah. Nice chicken toasty chicken. with cheese. Chicken. Yum. Chicken. Hello everyone, so it's the last Nanomex trip of term. Here is everyone. I, I, I missed out. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so Will started coming to Nanomex now, even though he isn't even in our lectures that we have on Monday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone can come to Nanomex. Anyone. But yes, the nachos were very tasty. We've got a fair bit of work to do this afternoon, but then it's the physics and materials dinner this evening, so that's going to be pleasant. That's going to suck because I'm not there. It's going to be great. The one time we're going to escape from the Hello everyone, so I've just come back from Nanomex and I've just popped back to my room. I'm just filling up my rucksack again with everything I need for the afternoon and then I'm going to head to the Roost, the Jesus Cafe to do some work. 
before my supervision which is near the roost so like it makes sense to go straight to the roost and then straight from there to my supo. A bit of focus work in the roost this afternoon I reckon. Maybe a coffee, maybe a cake, we'll see. See I do have the physics and materials dinner this evening and I have just been to Nanomex like do I really need a cake this afternoon? Probably not but it's the end of term right you know so like sometimes you have to treat yourself. You really do. I need a reward. I've made it to week eight of term. Way to go me. And suddenly, when I was sitting in the roost, I saw a wild Tim approaching West Court. The Tim is a rare species native to Jesus College with a particular flair for physics, and they live on a diet of bread. Luckily, I knew the Tim was no danger to us humans, and so I waited for Tim to join me so we could go to our supervision. And now I've gonna make him stop as he comes past me though. <laughs> I've had my supervision and I've hung up my laundry when I got back. Look at all those clothes hanging up back there. That took me, honestly, a good half hour to hang it all up. Like, there's deceptively more clothes on that rack than you think. Like, they're all squeezed on because I literally just put off doing my laundry for ages and then <laughs> put a load on all at once. Yeah, I've kind of been sitting here wasting time <laughs> since that. Um... I'm actually going to start, like, in about 20 minutes time, I'm going to start getting ready for the physics and materials dinner this evening. It's not, like, too smart an affair. The dress code is smart casual, i.e. I don't need to dress up too much, so that's good. So I'm just going to put a bit of makeup on, put something on that's presentable, and head to the pre-dinner drinks at 7. For now, I actually think I might open up my current video that I'm editing and do some editing. The alternative is looking over my physics notes from my supervision I just had and... I mean, editing just is much more appealing. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna get something done. Let's be a bit productive. There's this really weird beeping. Can you hear it? I don't know what it is. Is it coming from next door? No, that's the hallway. I'm gonna look outside. Okay, so it turns out they're doing a bleep test outside. Oh, if you don't know what- players. Yeah. I have horrific memories of doing bleep tests when I was at school. Like, if you haven't done one before, the idea is you have to, like, run to the other end of, like, the court before the beep goes, and then you have to run back, and then you keep going until you can't run anymore. But, like, the idea is you go for as long as you can, so it's like an endurance thing. That makes sense where all the beeping was coming from. Okay, it's all sorted. Don't worry, guys. There's no there's no weird beeping in this staircase. Hey, good evening, guys. Hello. <laughs> My name's Pagey. His and... name's Pagey. We are at J-Bar right now, so here's Tim, here's Tim. 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 Hannah. Just had physics dinner. I actually especially enjoyed the main yeah. course, like the, oh, I ate that. the pork. I ate that. So, you ate hold that. on. You that. This guy's Tim. vegetarian. You're vegetarian, uh, okay. Tim. Whoa, whoa. Tim. Tim. I forgot to put down vegetarian. I forgot to put down vegetarian. He's so a I'm big like... vegetarian, guys. You gotta be pragmatic with these things. <laughs> I say I'm going to be vegetarian for a bit, I forget to put the thing down, some non-vegetarian food is in front of me, am I going to hand it back? That has no effect, that does nothing. I'm going to munch on it. I don't care, I'm having a good time. But he was irresponsible, he should have said he was vegetarian from the very start, but no he didn't, he just had to go with meat, obviously. Outrageous. Outrageous. Outrageous behaviour. I'm gonna sign off right now. See you guys later. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Have a late Bye. night, boys. Hello everyone. So I'm really sorry about that interruption. I shouldn't leave my phone with people. We have these losers over here. We've just come out of the physics and materials dinner and it was a great time. I then swapped coats with Ed, um, yeah. I think Ed came off worse in this situation, not gonna lie. Well, Hello hey. everybody, I think welcome. Say oopsie doopsie. Say oopsie doopsie. Okay. On the three, two, one, oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. oopsie doopsie! We're all in Tim's room, um, yeah. we've just come back this. from the physics okay. and materials dinner. Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess, but also you guys are used to seeing my messy room, so you probably think this is tidy. What is this? What do we have here? Biscuits. My biscuits. What kind of biscuits bread. do you have? This isn't bread. <laughs> Tim eats stuff other than bread. Oh, here's Tim's bread. Oh my god, this looks like such good bread. Now this looks to me like chocolate digestives, but it's not, is it? It's not bread. Is it rich tea? Oh, they're chocolate chip digestives. Oh, that's interesting. So like rich tea biscuits with chocolate chip inside. No digestives with chocolate chip. No, no digestives have the chocolate on top.
No, but you can get non-chocolate digestive. Yeah, no, still no, digestive. no one eats those. No one has those. <laughs> no one eats those. I yeah. mean those. Well, you don't Am exist. I no one? You I don't exist. exist. Here's Ed providing quality entertainment as always. Everyone, so we're on a point walk. <laughs> Will you point where you want to go? And the, so we go in the direction of the majority. We're going this, we're going this we're going way. So, hello, everyone. We're still on this point walk. Me and Ella wanted to go to the van of life where we could get food, but these other guys have taken us down the route over to the wrong part of Cambridge. We don't want to go this way. Good morning, everybody. So, today I've got my last ever time in physics labs like possibly ever for definitely for this year anyway um, and it's not actually a lab today it's just a presentation so i'm meeting with my lab group at churchill college and we're gonna have a quick run through of our presentation and then we'll head over to the labs for our assessed presentation which is 20 minutes long then they'll ask us a few questions and then we'll hand in our lab book here is our joint lab book for the extended investigation and that'll be it it's not worth much but it's like good presenting experience i suppose it's good team working experience and all that and um yeah so i'm literally just making sure i've got everything making sure everything's properly stuck into this book just going over our powerpoint i need to add in a sentence but i can't add it on this online version because my computer hates me so I'll sort it when I get there. Yeah and the physics and materials dinner was actually really nice last night and we actually ended up doing a point walk. Now if you don't know what a point walk is I'm not sure if I explained it very clearly last night. Essentially like you, you're in a group and you go walking and every time you reach an intersection like somewhere where you can go one way or another you have to go count down and then all point in the direction you want to walk and then the direction that has the most points is the direction you go. And it just keeps going on like that. We went to Van of Life, got cheesy chips, so that was very, very good. Oh, the other thing is I managed to lose <laughs> Ed's cam card. So our cam cards get us into our rooms and they're like our access card. Ed stole my cam card. So, you know, actually he initiated this. He did not give me my cam card, refused to give it to me. So I took his cam card. So we had each other's cam cards all evening, except I managed to drop his cam card somewhere on this point walk. Um, so I got back, I was like, I genuinely don't have your cam card, I'm so sorry. He didn't believe me, um, but I genuinely didn't have it. But it cost £10 to get a new one, so I've given him £10. I feel pretty bad, but like, he's got a temp free card now. But at least I've got my cam card, and to be fair, like, he should not have taken my cam card in the first place, so... I'm sure you're all feeling deeply concerned about the loss of Ed's cam card, so I'm pleased to inform you that it has since been found. I just thought it would be a fun game, you know, find the cam card. It could catch on. I'm gonna just carry on preparing for this presentation, just quickly go over what I'm saying, make sure I can say it within five minutes, because that's like my time's lot for speaking. And yeah. And here's a sneak peek of Churchill College. It's the closest college to the physics lab, so it was handy to do our final presentation prep here. Hey peeps, so I've just got back from the Cavendish and I have done my presentation. But yeah, the thing was, when we had to walk from Churchill College to the physics labs, it started pouring rain, like literally chucking it down. So like within like 30 seconds of being outside, I was just soaked through. My jeans, oh, you probably can't see, but this... This is soaked through. They're stuck to my legs right now. I'm just glad to be back in my room, you know. Um, I'm gonna get changed into some warm, dry clothes. My lab group are actually so, so lovely. Like, I was so lucky to be put in like a team with like such nice people because, you know, sometimes you do have to work with people who you don't get on with so well in life, but like literally, honestly, lovely team. So we just accidentally took an hour and a half break but it's fine, we're getting back on it now. I'm just about to get my maths out and I'm actually gonna do two hours before dinner and I'm actually gonna get this work done. Good evening, everyone. This evening, I've just got a bit of work to do really like the work hasn't ended yet 
unfortunately. It is the last day of lectures tomorrow, but I've still got supervisions. I've got three supervisions and like two and a half sets of supervision work for those supervisions to complete. But it's fine, I'll get them done. We're nearly there. And then I'm gonna make my revision timetable. Like, I'm convinced, honestly, I'm gonna make myself a revision timetable and I'm actually gonna stick to it because I make these timetables and then do I ever stick to it? I try and because they're usually quite ambitious, I do end up getting a lot done even if it's not everything I plan to. But really, I wanna make one that's realistic and that I actually stick to. But that's a project for after we finish this term's work. Oh, I was just thinking about when I was in Churchill College earlier because obviously I was seeing my lab group there, we were running through our presentation, had lunch in the Churchill, buttery cafeteria whatever they call it which was pleasant and I was thinking like the last time I was here was when I was on a summer school when I was in my first year of sixth form quite a while ago now quite a few years ago and I stayed in Churchill College for four days it was a head start summer school if anyone's interested it was like a um get into stem sciences summer school thing they run them at lots of universities around the country but I remember being on that summer school and thinking to myself oh I wish I could be at Cambridge like I was literally in awe of like Cambridge as a whole I was meeting these students people or people who are at Churchill and I was like wow like they're at Cambridge or oh, like that's literally what I would love to be doing like that's literally my dream and I was it was really weird to be in Churchill again this time but looking at it from the other perspective like being a student at Cambridge and also I was cycling down the cycle path that goes by the college that um I used to walk down when I was on the summer school and I remember always the leader of the summer school shouting at us being like step to the side the cyclist coming and I was almost taken out by cyclists multiple times I must say because there's so many cyclists in Cambridge and I used to be like oh, all these cyclists coming at us pedestrians is this what Cambridge is really like but then there was me today on my bike and I was cycling down this cycle, cycle path and I was like I am that cyclist now not that I'd knock anyone over like I am very careful on my bike I like Churchill as a college you know I feel like my roots are in Churchill because Churchill was also the link college for my sixth form so basically the way Cambridge does it is that different areas in the country are assigned different link colleges at Cambridge and that college is responsible for all the access schemes and school visits for that particular area in the country and so from where I'm from, our link college is Churchill. My sixth form actually ran a day trip up to Cambridge um, and it was my first time ever visiting Cambridge and we went to Churchill College to have a look around. So that literally was my first experience of Cambridge. I do quite like Churchill and their rooms are really nice as well. Like they've got these um, window sills, but like big window sills that you can sit on and like look out and I can imagine myself studying on there. But I do love Jesus though. I mean, <laughs> does anything beat Jesus? No, Jesus is great, but um, Churchill is a nice college. Also, the other exciting thing is I went and checked my pigeonhole and I've got my menu from Boat Club Dinner. I had Boat Club Dinner at the weekend um, and the way we do things at Boat Club Dinner is everyone has a menu and everyone signs your menu at the Boat Club Dinner so everyone takes pens and you pass everyone's menus around so everyone's written like little messages to me in your menu and we do them for every Boat Club Dinner so there's one up there from a Boat Club Dinner from last year this is my first ever Boat Club Dinner menu there's more writing inside, it's a bit blank on the front. It's when I didn't know anyone that well. <laughs> I don't actually know what my boat club dinner menu from last term is, because it's definitely not up on my wall. And I'm quite sad about that because my last term one was a real cracker. So yeah, I like to pin them up on my notice board. I've managed to fill my notice board pretty well now. It's gonna be annoying in like a week or so's time and I'm gonna have to take everything down. <laughs> so it's just past 11 and I'm still going on my maths. And I have not finished yet. I've made good progress, but I'm not finished because literally I've been set so many questions this week, but I'm so tired and like I can feel my productivity slipping. I can feel my concentration going. I honestly just need to go to bed. Like there's just no point carrying on now. But the thing is, this work is due tomorrow morning. My super plan, master plan, is to set my alarm for like 6.30 and then make sure I actually get up at that time 
and I'll do like an hour or an hour and a half even of work tomorrow morning and then that should be enough to finish it and the work I do in the morning will be fresh because I will have just woken up from a good night's sleep and then I'll have a morning of lectures and then I can nap in the afternoon if I need to oh no see what I really should have done is got this maths work done earlier but the trouble is I had other work that I was doing a few days ago so I just couldn't start it earlier juggling work is hard you know like I thought I had everything sorted, but clearly not. And that's it for this vlog. I'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Did she get her work done? Did she not get her work done? Spoiler, I did get my work done. And yeah, I'll see you soon with another video. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.